sunshines welcome back i hope that you are good and that you've had a really good week so this week what we're going to do is messages from the heart so we're going to go into the person you're thinking about's energy and we're going to really focus on that chakra that heart chakra that energy and pull that into the decks and give you the direct messages from their heart to yours so i've got two decks for you to pick from pick from deck number one and deck number two i want you to go to the deck that you are most drawn to whichever deck it is number one number two so this is the arcadium tarot Ar no it's not it's the Arcanum Tarot, Arcanum. And this is the Tarot de la Nuit in my best French accent. Um, so pick the deck and let's go. So deck number one, I'm going to step into your energy, um, all your people's energy, all your energy, and pull out the strongest energy between you all. Um, so I'm just going to go into that heart chakra energy. And as that happens, I get really strong goose pimples coming up my left-hand side um, and spirit really drawing near into my left ear. So this is your close guides, okay? Your close guides really stepping forward. It is also your person um, and their heart chakra, their love energy. And can we have some messages directly for those watching from their person's heart chakra? What do they need to know? watching those of you that are watching what does their heart want to say to them what does their person's heart want to tell them so i'm actually going to stop at three cards um because i feel that you know sometimes when we less is more sometimes when it comes to tarot and normally i pull five but i'm actually going to just stop at the three because that is exactly what spirit are telling me to do and they are saying the words less is more now as we kind of go into your energy, let me just show you the cards for those of you who read tarot. You've got the Three of Cups, you've got the Page of Swords, um, and you've also got the Fool. Okay, so we've got quite a nice selection of cards coming out over here. Quite a balanced energy coming forward from them. So when we're looking at the Heart Chakra and we're looking at the decks, you've only got um, you've only got one Minor Arcana, you've got one Major Arcana, and you've got one Court card. So let's start off at the very beginning with the Three of Cups. Now, the Cups are always standing for emotions. They are very much symbolised by water if you are pagan and you use that water energy. So your person has very strong feelings in their heart for you. Their heart jumps for joy, Spirit is saying to me. Their heart jumps for joy when they think of you, when they have these... Um, conversations with you there is a lot of heart energy going towards you and there is a very strong sense of love and i absolutely love that um as your your starting card so abundant yes love yes celebrations yes friendship yes lovers yes all of that you embody for your person and that is the energy coming from their heart chakra to you a very very strong sense of warmth and um, sometimes they can be a little bit too over emotional with this connection and it freaks them out and if that happens that's when they can go a little bit silent or take a step back and um, it's because their emotions are very very strong between you guys for saying and because of that sometimes they just get there have a little bit of a paddy, have a little bit of a panic, and they can withdraw from situations. But the love between you guys is really strong and, and their heart is full of it for you, which I absolutely love. Let's go on next to the Page of Swords. Okay, so this is talking about communication between the two of you. Your person uh, does like communicating with you and you'll probably find that it is more internet-based communication so it could be whatsapp it could be perhaps online dating it could be through messenger and um, there's so many different apps to text on now these days i don't even know uh, what they are but this is communication kind of coming through the internet we also have with this card communication coming through on an ethereal field okay so very earthly yeah internet that's great but we also have that ethereal communication between the two of you so telepathy talking um through chakras like we're doing now that very very strong communication between you guys really stepping forward now sometimes your person can be a little bit immature when it comes to how they communicate and again it goes towards this emotional side of things that if sometimes they feel a bit too emotional they withdraw or they push you away a little bit and um, it's that sense of naivety and stupidity that comes with this card um but there is still this wanting to communicate so if you're not in communication this is a sign to say that they are going to be reaching out to you and there is this love connection the next card being the full 
Okay, so this card is talking about jumping, taking leaps of faith, movement, communication, talking, messages kind of coming through. So again, all these cards are simulating that messages are going to come through, they're going to speak to you, they have these emotions for you, and they're really, really into you. With the full card literally being called the full, sometimes again, we've got this sense of naivety. So these cards mirroring each other with that. Sometimes they run away from the emotional side of things, but they're also not too scared to jump majority of time. They're ready to see where this situation goes between you guys. And they really fancy the pants of you. They're really into you. And um, they're like, Let, let's just see what happens. We have a load of new beginnings. I see a future of you. Now let's make some moves towards that. And that is what is going on in your person's heart. Remember, sometimes their head and heart can disagree with each other. And, um, you know, sometimes like, it's like actions rather than words. Sometimes the heart overrules the head. Sometimes the head overrules the heart. Um, but those emotions are quite in sync for you guys. Um, and if they haven't made those moves towards you or not making them, it looks predominantly for the majority of you that is going to be happening in the not too distant future, which is pretty cool. I like that. So that being said, I'm just going to pull you one oracle card. So oy! we'll just start with the one that's just jumped out on top of your card. So it was a bit of a hand slip, but we always get the ones um, that need to jump out. There's two, actually. So you've got Grab a Star and you've got Cicada. OK, um, so Grab a Star, this card and um, Star in Tarot talks about being on the right path, having a lot of hope, having a lot of dreams, having a lot of um and it said operations, but it just said operations, <laughs> having a lot of <laughs> working forward through things. Sometimes they can be really blunt with how they say things, uh, but they did just say the word operations. Maybe some of your people are having a physical operation. Um, if not, it is this kind of operation of things moving forward quite methodically, quite movement. And with Cicada over here, this is talking about sleeping, dormancy, nap time. So if it is feeling a little bit quiet and not much is happening, do know that with the right amount of timing, it is going to move forward. And it could be a spiritual operation that that is happening. Spirit are guiding your person, they are helping your person, and they are really trying to get them to experience that heart-centered emotion and not focus on the head. They see you guys have a future, uh, your person sees you guys have a future spirit sees the two of you having a future together it's kind of a case of letting it rest giving it time and it's going to come round. when we look at your person's heart-centered emotions they are very 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 strong in your energetic field so they do have these strong feelings for you and that is the message from their heart to yours which is deck number one so if you need me drop me a message mr love tarot at gmail.com you can also dm me on instagram or facebook mr love tarot um yeah, and the, all the details for readings are on the website. The only thing that I haven't put up there is any kind of druid ceremonies uh, that we do because I know a lot of you um, have messaged me about them and with magic and things like that. I have to get the okay um, from the powers that be, from like goddess and from the old gods. I have to get the powers to be of what we are can do for you. And the majority of time they say, yeah, we can do that. We need to do this type of magic, that type of magic. Um, but I don't advertise it as a selected service it's something that if spirit guide us and if goddess guide me and say yes this can happen that's when we do it and um, i am a priestess for goddess i work very very closely with them a lot of the time and they do some very very beautiful ceremonies so if there is something you want to shift or change uh, we have that and we have manifesting plans so we can move things into your center depending on the direction of spirit want to take you okay Deck number two, let's go. So heart messages from your person to you. So if you just tapped in, tuned in, turned on, we are working with a heart chakra connection today. We're going into your person's energy, um, into that heart chakra, and we are going to pull three cards, I only want three today, from the messages from their heart to you. So what are their messages to you? Oh, here he is, Knight of Wands, <laughs> two three okay quite interesting cards so i'll show you the cards for those of you that read tarot you've got the knight of wands over here you've got the moon and we also have the ace of pentacles so let's not sugarcoat this this is a very complex situation your person might have been a bit of a knob to you um they might have been treating you that you feel a little bit oh i don't know if they're really into me i don't really know what's going on i don't know how they're feeling and this is where the knight of wands is stepping in so he is a very passionate knight 
okay he's a very passionate knight and he works a lot on sexual energy he works on power he works on connection and they like to be quite a dominant person so we're never sexually orientated or gender specific on this channel but with tarot you always have males and females so this is a knight this is a movement okay movement coming in which is often based on a more passionate energy now this card can mean that your person isn't quite at that state to commit to you at this point in time Oh, I know. So when we're looking at that heart-centered energy, the fear of love, Spirit is saying, is what kind of makes that non-committal energy coming forward. Your person worries about love. They worry about kind of putting all their eggs in one basket. I know that sounds really negative, but they, they worry about that. They want to make sure before they settle down that they are settling down with the right person. And this is where the Knight of Wands is coming in. And he's kind of like testing the water. Your person's like, well, you know, I fancy you. I think you're really sexy. We have a really good chemistry. We have a great connection with each other. I'm just not quite sure if I'm ready to commit to someone at the moment. And that is what their heart is saying. So we have major, major, major attractions going on, major sex energy, major lust energy, um, and a crow just landed on my windowsill so we've got we've got the morrigan coming forward as well and um, i just said at the end of the first reading those of you that don't know i am a priestess of druid the morrigan um is a goddess of death and rebirth and she is also a, a messenger of the crows that come in from the other world towards us as we're talking so what's got to happen here is this kind of energy this knight of wands energy has to kind of be put to sleep a little bit for it to rebirth in a different kind of connection into a different love connection with you so how that's going to happen is the moon card so we've got this this kind of playing type energy that, that they haven't given you what you want that the sexual energy the drive is there now the moon comes forward as a bit of a cycle so you guys are probably feeling that it's been a little bit hot and a bit cold it's been a bit in a bit out not really sure what's going on but it's really important that you pay attention to your intuition with this spirit saying we have this shadow side of things and your person is afraid of the shadows so whereas if I have a, I used to have when I started the tarot, a way of doing um, a shadow hand, where your hand would be, you know, at night time and it just turns into a claw, that is how your person can perceive love. So they have this sexual energy, they're afraid of love being something sinister or shadowy or dark. And the reason why that happens is because of stuff from their past. Um, perhaps exes have cheated, perhaps there's childhood issues, perhaps we also have an addiction energy spirit assigned to me. And because of that, they can withdraw from the situation and you get stuck in this bit of a loop and a bit of a cycle with them. And you guys are just frustrated on what's going to happen. OK, um, now coming from that, which I do quite like next is we have the Ace of Pence. OK, so we've got this. I'm a bit of a, you know, I'm just kind of acting on the more sexual energy because I'm really, really scared of love. But with the Ace of Pentacles at the end, this is saying that your person can actually see that there is a future with you. But they've got to get more grounded with the energy. They've got to grow up a little bit. They've got to grow up a little bit. They've got to get on top of their emotions. They've got to get those emotions in check and not be in this space of fear. And if they do that, they can see there is this future with you. And it is a lot more grounded. The red energy um, on the few, on the, the right. I'm really bad at stuff like this, left and right. Did anyone still do that? <laughs> I still do that. Um, the right side of the face. This is a future energy. When it, we go to the right, it's the future. And there is red coming down this so it's like the red is the stability and it is the security so when they're looking you straight in the face and you're in the present moment they can see in the future that they can have a stable beginning with you and they can be more grounded with that so their heart is saying there is a future the head is saying that they're a little bit in the space of fear and how that acting is in a space of let's just go with it i'm really attracted to you I'm not quite ready to give you that commitment at this moment in time. And that is what is going on in their heart space. OK, so let's just recap. Very passionate sexual energy, very strong drive towards you, very strong pull towards you, but perhaps not committing to you. They're not committing at the moment because they're very, very scared of the shadows. Um, what they would normally see as love, they see as a lot of fear. And we have to remember as well, love and fear are polar opposites. In the future, they can see a new beginning with you and it is a lot more grounded and it is a lot more stable. OK, so let me just ask what's going to create that shift. I, I just want to go from how is that shift is going to be created. How is the shift going to be created between these? 
these lot the lovers so it's going to be a case of finding out that the heart overrules the head it's going to be a case of love will be the driving force for this connection they do have feelings for you they do care for you um, and they are falling for you but that is just where that non that, that scared non-committal energy comes in this is where the moon energy comes in because they are falling for you they're frightened they're frightened of things um you know temptations things coming forward is it the right are you the right person all of that is what's going through their mind but love is the driving force and they are falling in love with you so even though they're being a bit of a bugger over here they see a stable future with you at the end of the line okay and that is deck number two so if you need me just drop me a message mrlataro at gmail.com oh let me just pull you an oracle card actually because i was going to do that for deck number i did it for deck number one Can I have an oracle card for deck number two Okay, so we've got the, we've got this thing that says, does it work? Um, again, this is kind of, we've, and we've got the, the torch, you know, we just said about the shadows, the shadow side of things. It's like the shadows are illuminated across your person at the moment. And where they would just see a normal head over here, they've got this kind of pumpkin. It really stands by the moon card. It is a, a, a night energy, okay, darker night energy, shadow side of things. Um, and with it saying, does it work? It's like they are just going to try things see a bit of trial and error see where you guys end up and um, but there is a hope once they release those fears once they, they step away from these shadows there is a hope that you guys can work it out keep balanced with them you know keep your wits about you keep smart um and let it play out see where you end up with them if you need me just drop me a message dm me on insta or facebook or um you can email me at mr at gmail.com all the details are on the website all right guys love you Ciao!